Hi everybody, this is Rosa Sharon, and I'm back again with uh, another book review. I just recently read All That Is Wicked, Gilded Age Story of Murder and the Race to Decode the Criminal Mind by Kate Winkler Dawson. She also wrote American Sherlock. So this was actually written back in 2022. And, um, Hopefully short. It's about this man named Edward Ruloff. And Mr. Ruloff was notoriously um, deceitful in all that he did. And he didn't come from a broken home. He didn't seem to have any sort of issues in his upbringing. Nothing seemed to stem to his impulsive um, lying or the fact that he stole from the very uh, beginning when he was working, you know, in a job. Um, he's the first ever known serial killer known to human humanity. Um, he was actually studied and it was said that one of the people that he was involved with, which was a journalist, and this happens quite a bit, especially with people as, um, just blazingly brilliant as he was, that they did this for their own good. And he was narcissistic and a lot of, um, serial killers are, and he was a manipulative narcissist. And he also had antisocial personality disorder, which is also common in a textbook for this type of person. But more often than not, um, serial, serial killers like this one are um, not intelligent, are um, geniuses in what they do. Um, a lot of them are very, you know, normal in their intelligence. And they still don't know whether it's... Um, <clears throat> environment or um, biology that creates somebody that has a mind as twisted as Mr. Ruloff did. But who's to say? Because um, the mind is still such a very shrouded concept for people to, to grasp. And they've only just chipped the tip of the iceberg in accordance to the mind and of itself. But um, I absolutely love this book. It was just absolutely fascinating. I couldn't put it down. I am just so very taken by psychology and the this, this study of the mind has just always been intriguing to me. Um, but I don't think we'll ever understand. I don't, I don't think we'll ever really grasp it, but other than that, I can't really say too much about All That Is Wicked. But if you are um, intrigued by the idea of psychopaths in and of themselves, then pick this book up. And I should read American Sherlock if I can find it because it's basically about how um, criminal investigation began. Um, but... His execution was one of the last public executions done in New York City. After that, there were no more public executions, which, which I find very interesting. I just, justice isn't met in that way. And they said it was a humane execution. And the way they described it, I thought, that doesn't really sound humane. <laughs> but nevertheless, still... It being the, the last recorded execution in public domain is also very interesting. But I um, can't really say that much about All That Is Wicked. If, if you want to know more, then pick it up because it's just absolutely phenomenally written. And it's just a, it's a real page turner and it will definitely keep you on your toes and wondering why there are people in the world that find such individuals intriguing. I mean, I don't, I, I find them more loathsome than I do intriguing. 
and apparently some people find it alluring. I don't, but it's, it's an actual known, um, what do you call it? Um, fixation or, um, fetish that women especially have with people like this. And it's a, it's a phenomenon. Uh, but me, I just, I think people like this should be pitied rather than glamorized as they often are. But that's basically all you gotta say. So until next time, catch you on the flip side. Live long faster. Ciao, Tiffy.